Why baptize a child with a middle name? Baptism is not unusual these days, but many prejudices still remain. The most important and mysterious element of the sacrament is the name given to the child. It's no secret that more and more people choose unusual names for their children, often even exotic ones for our region. Most of them are not even in the holy calendar. Churches, those who regularly attend church, observe fasts, church traditions, etc. Parents prefer to choose names from the holy calendar. But if they want to call the child a non orthodox name, then the priests recommend baptizing the kids under other names. Most often, the names of saints whose days of remembrance coincide with the dates of baptism or birth are chosen for the sacrament. It is interesting that the Orthodox Church allows the baptism of children under the names of Georgian and Serbian saints, even if they are not in the calendar. Also, when baptized, you can give the child a different name if the family especially reveres a saint, and the parents want to name the heir in his honor. If the child's memory day is not marked on the saint's birthday, then it was allowed to take the name of the saint whose memory day was close to the date of birth or baptism. This is especially true for girls, because the days of remembrance of Orthodox women saints are much smaller. For the church, only the name of the person that was given to him at baptism matters. This means that one must confess, get married, and pray, remembering exactly the baptismal name. If other people pray for this person, then only using an exclusively baptismal name. A person is buried and a prayer service is offered for the rest of the soul, also under the name given at baptism. Calling this name secret is by no means wrong. For the church, this is the name of the person who will be recorded in the parish books, and which the priest calls during all rites and sacraments. Many Orthodox priests do not share the desire of parishioners to call children names that are absent in the holy calendar, but, of course, they do not refuse the child a baptismal rite for this reason. At the same time, one can often hear the opinion that it is more correct to give a child a special name at baptism so that they could not spoil, and so on. Is it correct? How does the church relate to this? The church extremely negatively evaluates any magic rituals and everything connected with it. It is a sin to give another name in order to protect against black magic because a Christian relies on God, his protection and patronage, and does not perform obscure obscure rituals. Regular prayers, communion, confession, and faith upbringing protect the child, not dubious prejudices. If you have doubts and questions, then you can and should contact your spiritual mentor who can solve them and tell you what is the best way to proceed, based on the official position of the church on a particular issue. For a believer, this will be the best way out of the situation. Thank you for your time and attention listening to me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also click the bell sign to be informed about new videos. Make sure you check useful links in the video description below. Have a great day.